Alright guys, I'll just start this one by saying that I've decided to discontinue the Thrive series. It had gotten really difficult to keep up with so much footage since those videos were between 8 and 10 minutes long. And I do the filming on my phone, which only has so much memory. And doing the videos in that style had made me pretty neurotic because I didn't know when I should be filming, um, when I should put the phone away. I was trying to film every little thing, and I don't necessarily enjoy doing that. I'm a pretty solitary person most of the time, and I was forcing myself to film stuff just so I'd have enough footage for those longer videos. And like I said, my memory was running out. And it was just making it feel like I was still prepping. I prepped for about 38 weeks, and I'm ready to be more relaxed. That was the idea of that title, Thrive. And I was stressing myself out even more. So I've just decided to do training vlogs, and then I'll probably post separate videos of maybe food and just whatever else I feel like posting, but I'll have training vlogs and that does mean that I'll be able to post more regularly and more frequently. Um, so what you're seeing is the first, third, and fifth sets of squats today. It's five sets of six with 320 and I got three different angles so you guys could see the depth and so I could see the depth because I wasn't happy with it on Saturday. <clears throat> so Definitely was happy with it this time, and I think it was pretty much the same as Saturday. That angle was just kind of distorted from the other video. And I didn't get my weight this morning. Um, my sodium was super high for the whole weekend, and I knew it would be inaccurate. And I really don't want to worry about getting my weight every morning anymore because, again, it's making it feel like prep. So I'll just weigh a couple times a week to see how things are going. And right here, I know that you really can't see what I'm doing. I did hammer curls right after squats because I knew my next client would get there early and I wouldn't be able to finish the other stuff. And I knew if this got interrupted, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I just showed you a short clip because I know that that was cut off. But this is a couple hours later. I did the five sets of squats and four sets of curls. I did not get interrupted. And then I trained two clients and came back and did dumbbell rows here. I did two warm-up sets and three working sets. I was supposed to do deadlifts today, but I still had a little bit of a twinge in my lower back. So I either will skip deadlifts this week, since I've only got the one day, or I'll just throw them on to one of my other lower body days, um, Wednesday or Friday. So we'll just see how my lower back feels. I just didn't want to force it. I don't have any time frame that I need to improve my deadlift in, so didn't want to worry about it. <clears throat> and like I said, I did three sets here, kind of went for a metabolic stress slash cell swelling pump effect here. I was resting maybe a minute between sets. I think I got 12 reps the first set, 10 the second set, and 8 the third set. And this is just with 75 pounds, just made sure to control the weight the entire time. And after this, I just did some sled pushes for hit. Just felt like it. I did five rounds just like this with about 90 seconds between rounds. Probably closer to 100 or 110 seconds. Close to two minutes by the end. I don't know why I told you in seconds and not a minute and a half to a minute and 45. But you guys get it. And again, just... First, third, and fifth round in this case. This doesn't really feel like a set. And I don't really recommend pushing a sled with chucks on, but I already had them on. So, got that done. Up next, you'll just see my post-workout that I brought to work. It's about six ounces total of pre-cooked ground turkey, 93.7. Four ounces are into a burger on the Einstein Brothers Thin Bagel that I brought home from Atlanta. Had two white cheddar rice cakes, and this sauce is made from sriracha, mustard, soy sauce, and sweetener. These Brussels sprouts are just green giant steamers. I did those in the microwave. Pretty tasty. And here's everything again. I put some of the sriracha sauce on the sandwich, as well as some of the Brussels sprouts. You may or may not think that is gross, but I thought it was delicious. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and don't if you didn't. 
I'll talk to you next time.